I don't know how it happened. It was an accident. Well, because of an accident, really. And it was all my fault. You're not making this any easier, you know. Like I have a choice. You have a choice, McGuire. Yeah? Yeah, believe me. Can we just move along here? Yeah, okay, all right, all right, let's go. Look, fraud is a strong word. Actually, felony sounds more like it. If I tell you the whole story from the beginning, you have to promise not to tell anyone else, okay? I got a nail spike. Just jump to page three. Documented evidence. Okay. The judge has put both his wife and his mistress on the city payroll, bought and paid for with our tax money. I didn't know you paid taxes. Flip over to five. Oh, I just got to three. No, no, right here. Check it out. Research assistant, $600 a week, Professor Plum. And that's his dog. Who'd you seduce to get this? But don't ask. Irene, proofs for Monday. Uh-huh. Proposal from the BQAR. Uh-huh. Your phone messages. You skip lunch again. You uh-huh. skip lunch again? And when you're finished, Ivan needs to see you in the art department. Oh, damn. Go find out what he wants, would you? Hmm? Thank you. Mike Brennan called. The mayor's assistant called. Want to bet that's about me? Your dentist called. You missed your cleaning. That's going to cost you. Thank you. Hey. Are those new? Yeah, sorta. They look kind of puny. Did I ask you? Hey, how about this for a header? Judge's payroll fraught with graft. Taxpayers lose case. That's it. That's perfect. I swear, Spike, you read my mind. This is big, McGuire. This is really big. Ivan wants you, Irene, now on the double, and he looks really frosted. You better go for this. Tell him not to be such a wimp. Tell him that round the loop doesn't just do puff pieces. Yeah, right. Yuck. This is disgusting. Where's the fruit at the bottom? What? It's a rotten shame, McGuire. It's a very important piece, but it isn't going to be in the magazine. What? Ivan is not going to print anything else that you write. Wait a minute, Spike. Am I fired? No, no. You're not technically fired. You're a freelance. You're just not getting any more assignments. Why? Oh, something to do with Ivan and Shirley going to a marriage counselor where apparently some very interesting things came out. My name wasn't mentioned, was it? How big an idiot are you? I just gave her a shoulder to cry on. Did you ever consider a shrink? She needed a little TLC. I meant for you, McGuire. Don't you think it's a little self-destructive to TLC the boss's wife? How am I ever going to find another writer as good as you? Well, you could have maybe, oh, I don't know, gone to bat for me or something? By telling Ivan either you stay or I go? Maybe. We've been working together for, what, six years? During which you were either in some advertiser's face or getting yourself arrested for God knows what, and I'm always there to clean up the mess. Do you ever think about the consequences of what you do? Sometimes. (sighs) Seven. Seven years, McGuire. Now where are you going? To get drunk, or God knows what. Don't tell me. Ivan finally got wise. You knew? Irene, everybody knew. Sorry. Hey, you coming to Oliver's party? No. Nope, gotta work. Irene, it's Friday. Okay. Hey, no problem. I'm just sorry I caught you at a bad time. Oh, listen, I'm busy, Pop. Real busy. I'm hassling a couple of deadlines right now. Mm, Dave, I gotta run, too. So, uh, have a nice time at dinner and give my regards to... What's her name? Polly. Right. Okay. Yeah. You, too. Bye, Pop. Yeah. Listen, you busy? I thought maybe we could hang out or... Oh. Sure. Yeah. No problem. Next time. You got it. 
Bye. How about now? Uh... Yeah, better. Better, I think. Do they look puny? Oh, no, no, they're fine. I told you that when you chose them. The color picks up the highlights in your hair. Really? Oh, yes, and the shape of the frame complements the angle of your eyebrow, which you wouldn't want to hide. Wait a minute. The angle of my eyebrow? Is this your Friday night special? Oh, no, honest, but hey, if you don't like the way they look, you know, you have an excellent nose for the European style frame. I do? Mm -hmm. Let's see how these feel. Oh, oh no. Or maybe something along these lines. Oh, well, these are wonderful. Really? You like them? Very much. They just look like they belong on this face. They're very good. With all these glasses in here, I, I think you found the perfect fit. Thank you. It's one of the joys of my profession. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Irene, Lou. So, you can McGuire. I did not fire him. Anyway, look, we're having a rent party for him tomorrow night at the bar, and I thought maybe you want to come. <sighs> he can't pay his rent? Every little bit helps. Hi, Molly. Oh, it's nice you came. He's been very depressed since you fired him. I did not fire him. Okay. How come he's broke? You know McGuire. There was his family, got conned, lost all their money. I don't know, some story he was working on. He kind of made a loan. Uh, and so there's this guy, he's got loads of dough who's looking for someone to ghostwrite his autobiography. Evidently, he's got all kinds of stories about wholesale poultry. Chicken! <laughs> he wants me to write about chicken. Hey, someone's got to get the gig, McGuire. Why not you? Uh, You could always go back to your old job at the Examiner. Not a chance. I don't see why you should give up. You haven't even started to see what's out there. Believe it, there is nothing happening for me in this town. What about that novel you're always talking about writing? Well, no. Uh, Spike, Ixnay on the novel name. What, you want to be a writer, writer? <laughs> is it a secret? I, I, you've been talking about it as long as I've known you. Come on, in the first place, I can't even cover my rent. How am I going to take the time to write a book? So, who are you going to get to cover features? Oh, I, I don't know. I'm looking. Excuse me. Hey. Hey. I didn't know the novel was off limits. I'm sorry I brought it up. Don't worry about it. You got the talent, you know. <laughs> Says you. Well, who better? Haven't I been editing you for seven years? You don't edit, you read my mind. And trust me on this one, McGuire. If you're not afraid to reveal a little bit and to dig a little bit, you'd have something to say. Don't start the shrink campaign again. Oh, okay. I'll just keep it shallow. Bless you. I'm gonna miss you, McGuire. Yeah, well, we'll see each other. I mean, I know. I, I, I don't really know where, but... Hang out here at Molly's for a change. <laughs> Not exactly the Molly's type. What are you talking about? Tom, Tom it's me. Hi, Tom. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh, her? No, 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 that's Melissa. She cuts my hair. Mm. What about old Lou over there? I saw him sidling up to you. Oh, that's not what you think. Maybe it wasn't what you think. You ever think of that? You know, just when I started to forget how annoying you are. Okay, fine. This may come as a shock to you, McGuire, but not everything in life is about scoring. Yeah, well, this may come as a shock to you, Spike, but not everything in life is about working either. 
you weren't afraid to dig a little bit, to reveal a little bit, maybe you'd find out about living. You too could score. You know, this is the anniversary of the great Chicago fire. Now, if you're interested in that story, Mrs. O'Leary's great-granddaughter just happens to live in my building, and I... Irene? Irene? You better get a cab. Wait a second. Oh, yeah, let's get this one. Okay. Taxi? Taxi! Didn't I tell you to buy the four-wheel drive? Are you going to start that now? All right, all right, fine. Wait for my signal, then gun it. I'll be with you in a second. In college, coach used to make us do this for short yardage practice. All right, Spike. Ready? Hit it! I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Oh, who said you did? Inside when I said... Oh, it's all right. You're sort of right. No, you don't have to score if you don't want to. Yeah. No, I think we better go to the emergency room. Oh, no, I'll be okay. McGuire, you need to see a doctor. I can't afford a doctor, Irene, all right? What's to afford? You have insurance, and that's... Oh, don't tell me. You gave your insurance money to someone with a learning disability from our last story. Okay, I won't tell you. You don't have health insurance at your age with a bad back? Could you just take me home, please? Don't you live in a fourth floor walk-up? How are you going to get up the stairs? Don't worry, I'll manage. Oh, McGuire. All right, I'm going to take you to your dad's. No way. Yeah, just tell me where he lives. Connecticut. Oh. Well, there must be somebody. Mm. Um, in the study, on the daybed. Oh, well, like I said, this really isn't necessary. Oh. You know, I don't know, maybe it would be better if I just did this myself. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Spike, I'm sorry to cause you all this trouble. Should just... you just stop? I mean, first I fire you, and then your back goes out getting my car unstuck. It's the least I can do. I'll be out of your hair, I promise. First thing in the morning, I've done this before. All I need is if you could help me get my shoes off. Oh, sure. <sighs> mm -hmm. Get it. Mm -hmm. Just get that other one. This will be fine. Just go ahead, yank it. Just yank it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. I got it. Oh, that's so much better. If you could just take the socks off, too. Your socks. Yeah, they're a little moist. Mm -hmm. real, real fast, just shake them, just shake them. Get out of there. There's one. Right, you, you, you. The other one, just peel it off. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Get it, get it, get it. Ah, oh, that's so much better. It's better, thank you. Now, if it's not too much of a problem, 
Could you make me a cup of hot tea? Oh, no problem. With lemon? Lemon, yes. You awake? Huh? What? How are you feeling? Oh, better, I think. My legs still feel funny, but... Definitely better. That's better? Well, sometimes better is gradual. All I need now is a long, hot bath to loosen me up. Oh, yes, okay. No, right. Where's the bathroom? Uh, it's just down the hall, first door on the right. Okay. Are you baking something in there? For me? Oh, well, actually, it's my niece's birthday. Oh. You know, I, I'm supposed to leave for my sister's uh, in just a little while, but, you know, no, I'm thinking maybe I should... No, 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 you go. I'll lock up when I leave. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, I swear, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. An hour tops and I'm out of here. Uh -huh. Thanks, Spike. Uh -huh. mm. All right, here it is. Oh, I mean, wow. it's beautiful. We are never eating this cake. No way I'm eating this cake. Ah, uh, it's for after dinner, sir. Oh, wait a minute. Here you go, Bobby. Thanks, Anna. Here you go. <laughs> it boggles my mind. What does? How you can cook the way you love kids. It boggles my mind that you are not married. Oh, Mom. Now, don't say, don't say it. If I don't say it, who will? Well, hopefully nobody. I mean, I can't believe that in this day and age, people oh, would yes, actually... Oh, yes, you can say that. <laughs> I can understand it. You're still young. Well, not that young, but you're uh, too young to know that a time comes when without companionship, it's all empty. I have friends, Mother. I'm not talking about friends. I'm talking about a family. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if you did something with your hair. Give it a rest, Mom. Hey, what about that McGuire guy? What? Who's McGuire? Yeah, the cute one. She works with him. Oh. I mean, I always had to sense you and he were sort of special. Uh, based on what? You've never even met him. Well, just, um, stuff. Yeah. Well, like today you haven't even talked about him. Patty, I haven't talked about him lots of times. Well, there you are then. Huh? McGuire. Hmm, what about him? I know you, Irene. You can't tell me you're not attracted to him. Oh, trust me. I am not his type. Not even close. Oh, that's just what I'm saying. You could be his type. I mean, uh, even with your kind of build, there are ways of dressing to de-emphasize. Oh, Ma, enough. You know, it's when she starts with this, with your kind of build stuff, as if that's the issue. She has a certain kind of life, and that's her choice. You put in eight hours a day with the fourth graders, and then eight hours a day at home. That's your choice. Well, I have mine. I, I just I don't know why Mom can't accept it. Do you accept it? Yeah, I do. You know, usually. OK. I mean, does she think I like the way I look? Did I have one piece of cake, even a sliver? The only thing good about being my size is it eliminates the men who only want you for your build instead of who you are. Why don't I believe you? Because you think it's a rationalization. But it's not. Don't you want to meet somebody? I meet people. I met somebody just last week. Yeah? Yeah. And he likes the angle of my eyebrow. Well, there you go. No, really. He's nice, and he's a professional man. Good looking, and he's appropriate. Appropriate? What's wrong with that? Nothing. It just doesn't sound very romantic. Mom? Yeah? He, uh, he wants you to read to him. He says you do the best voices. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. <laughs> what are we reading tonight, sweetie? You know, the one about the frog. Oh, didn't we read that last night? I want to read it again. <laughs> Could
could you c call a chiropractor? Please? This isn't exactly in my job description, you know. I knew that, and I appreciate it. It's just the super's off today, and chiropractors don't work on Sundays either. Well, can you just send him to the hospital or something? No, he doesn't have... Oh, watch that corner. He doesn't have insurance. Are you serious? Hello, I'm here too. So if the chiropractor can't help him, he could be here forever? Yes. Fortunately, however, this apartment is on the eighth floor with a balcony overlooking concrete. Oh, we could always just throw him over. Hey. Yeah, either that or just marry him. Huh? What? You know, put him on your insurance. Excuse me, Amy. Would you be willing to marry him? Oh, hell no. He's in your apartment. Oh, Amy. Spike! The chiropractor left already? It didn't take long. He thinks I have a herniated disc. He wants me to see a surgeon. Oh, you're kidding. When I kid about something like this, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, don't panic. I'll make a few calls. You think while I'm waiting, I could have some cereal or something? Oh, yeah, sure. Of course. Any kind? You got sugar pops? And eggs? Okay, yeah. Poached? Ah. Poached. Oh, man. Ah. Now you can panic. It's an elective surgery. Getting any kind of financial aid can take months. Oh. Maybe I can move into some kind of shelter while I wait. <sighs> One without stairs. Um. Maybe there's a doctor or something you can make payments to. When I don't even have a job? You know what really makes me mad? Fifteen years I paid for insurance, and never once did I go over my deductible. How about your dad? Oh, forget it. Even if he had it, which he doesn't, he wouldn't. Oh, well, there must be someone you can borrow from. Oh. I don't have that kind of money. Come on, this could take thousands. I know. Unfortunately, I'm not acquainted with the rich and famous. I thought maybe Ivan... Well, you're out of your mind. Well, maybe I should go to one of those, you know, clinics, you know, where surgery students work on you. I could be a guinea pig. I don't care. Speaking of pigs, maybe a vet would have the know-how to... Irene. So I wouldn't exactly call it a fraud. I, I mean, we are married. It's just a piece of paper, you know? I mean, not the joining of two souls. Oh, my God. He needed the insurance, Patty. I figured he'd have the surgery, stay at my place for maybe a week, and then once he walked, he'd go home and we'd get divorced. Of course, it didn't exactly go that way. You promise take Irene to be your lawfully wedded wife. For better or for worse, in sickness and in health, for death do you part. Under the circumstances. Oh. And do you, Irene, take this man, Thomas, to be your lawfully wedded husband, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, till death do you part? I guess. By the power vested in me, by the state of Illinois, I now pronounce you man and wife. Do us both a favor, Irene. Hmm. Don't you ever tell mom, ever, Me, I'm walking. <laughs> What's this? Uh, I want you to use it for the next two weeks. A cane? Oh, no one will notice. They'll all be looking at your girdle. My what? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> sure, now she's laughing. You only need it when you're going to be on your feet. <laughs> Plus, we have a little manual for you called Back to Sex. Get it? Ah. We'll give that to your wife. Uh, Go ahead, honey, take the manual. Mm. Uh, can you hurry it up? Patty and my mom are coming by to pick me up, and I don't want to have to explain you. Uh, Spike? You know, I, I really owe you. Oh, 
It's no big deal. No, it is a big deal to me. Nobody ever did anything like this for me. Nobody? I mean it, I swear. Nobody's ever given me an egg, much less sugar pops. Oh, come on, McGuire. What about all your, you know, your sleepovers? I, I don't stay for breakfast. They don't offer, I don't ask. Hmm. I'm sorry. You deserve better than that. Says you. I wish there was some way I could, you know, express or somehow, you know, repay you. Oh, well, you know, that's really... But I... I there's nothing, you know... Except could you leave before my mother... Oh, she's always early. You go. I'll hide here and I'll lock up before I leave. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? Irene. Thanks for everything. Miss Dunbar. Uh, yes? Alice Wood, Lakeshore Mutual. May I come in? Lakeshore Mutual? Just checking up on a surgical claim you made for, um, let's see here. Uh, Thomas McGuire. Oh, yes, right. Um, my husband. Uh, I kept my name. Mm. We noticed the surgery took place one day after the wedding. Oh, yes, it, it just, uh, suddenly came up. You know, back problems, honeymoons. <laughs> Must be a statistic about that. Well, anyway, I, I have all the marriage documents, if that's what you need. I'm sure you do. What I'm wondering is, do you have the husband? <laughs> of course I have the husband. <laughs> Honey? Honey, could you come out here a minute? Uh, Honey? Alice Wood, Lakeshore Mutual. Uh, she's just checking to, to see that we're really married. Oh, well, hey. <laughs> Forgive me, we don't mean to intrude. It's just with your medical costs, what with the surgery, hospital, rehab, they will exceed $35,000. Less, of course, the $1,000 deductible. <laughs> and in cases like this, we do like to make a little visit. Uh, uh, and then? Well, if there's any cause for question, we have five years under the statute of limitations. For five years? But I've found that if folks just own up to it, maybe they didn't think it through. Maybe they just made a mistake. We're usually able to work out some kind of deal prior to prosecution. Prosecution? Well, insurance fraud is a serious crime. I just have a couple of questions. Could I get your birth date, Mrs. McGuire? Uh, Dunbar. Oh, that's right. You kept your name. Uh, February 24th. Year? 1960. And where were you born? Me? Well, it is your claim, Mr. McGuire. Cleveland, July 19th, 55. Yeah, exactly right. I... <clears throat> Listen, Ms. Uh... Wood. Wood, yes. Uh, thank you so much for coming by to, to check on things. Just clear up any little things, aren't we, honey? Yes, well, as I said, forgive me for uh, oh, no, no, saying no, all no. things. It's okay, really. Oh, 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 hi, Mom. Hi. Uh, this is... Uh... Alice Wood, Lakeshore Mutual. Was there an accident? Oh, no. Why? Well, him. Oh, no, no, no. This is... um. This is, this is, uh, um, uh... McGuire? You're McGuire? Yes, and, uh, guess what, Mom? He's my, um... He's, he's my, uh... Husband. I'm her husband. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Betty, why didn't you tell us? When did this happen? Well, uh, let me think. It was, um, uh, um... September 24th. Right. Oh, how could I forget that? Oh, thanks. <gasps> Married, which was a cute one. I never said that. Oh, yes, you did, to Patty. Oh, I, uh, I believe that's my fault, Mrs. Dunbar, rushing her into it like this. I think I've got all I need for today. I'll be on my way. Oh, no, Miss Wood, stay. Oh, Irene, I'm going to cry. Oh, I knew you could do it. No, Mom, don't. <laughs> you know, the, the fact is that, you know, McGuire and I have, like, you what? know, like, for years, and uh, we just, uh, 
finally decided to, to you know, uh, to, to make it official. Official? Uh, official? Oh, oh, I mean, why didn't you say something about it? I would have planned the most beautiful wedding for you. Ah, uh, yeah. See? See, see there. That's why I never told you. Because, you know, right away she would start, like, you know, like right now, with, you know, the bridal shower and the wedding dress. And, I mean, you have a mom, right? And, you know, finally, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? It is a big deal. Oh, no, 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 Mom. That, of course it, of course it is for you, yes. But, but, you know, for me, I mean, marriage is just really, a, you know, a legality. Oh, a for formality. I, I, not a legality, I, I mean a formality. I think I should go. Oh, Miss Wood, you know, I can barely you know. I always knew that you guys were perfect for each other. I, I think we work together. Well, we don't anymore. Oh, I... Well, see, Irene wanted me to um, take some time off so I could write my novel. You don't have a job. I know how this must look. Hey, listen, like you say, I have a mother, too. I'll just come back another time, like maybe Wednesday. And the next Wednesday, and the next Wednesday. The perfect plan, huh? I can't believe I did this. Yeah, well, it was your plan, don't forget. No, actually, it was Amy's plan job evaluation is next week, but you're the one who said it was perfect. Spike, what do you want me to say? Anything but Spike. I don't know where you came up with that, but I hate it. I never knew that. Yeah, well, now you do. Oh, five years, and my mother likes him. I... Ooh! Can we have sloppy joes? Would you put that back? This is full of sodium and saturated fat. I will pick the cuisine, thank you very much, since I'm paying, which, by the way, reminds me, when did you decide to go with the novel? Didn't you encourage me at the rent party? You were urging me to pursue my life's dream. Yeah, well, that was before we got married. Then what about the other night? You were right. I am irresponsible. The perennial, what'd you say? Adolescent. Yeah. Which I should have added aging adolescent, who peaked in junior high and still needs his groupies. Oh, Oh, hello, Art. How are the frames? Uh, fine. You know, actually, they sort of seem to slip a little. Well, let's have a look. Where are my needle nose pliers when I need them? <laughs> How about if Monday you come by the shop? Oh, no, I don't want to be any trouble. Oh, no trouble. Honest. Hey, who is that guy? Art, my optometrist. Oh, I see. So how long has Art had the hots for you? Oh, first of all, he doesn't have the hots for me. Oh, yeah, okay, then what about you? Getting the hots is not the way women relate to men, McGuire. Wait a minute, you gotta take this back. They're rotten. That doesn't even taste like chocolate. Well, it's carob. Ugh. Low fat, less sugar, no caffeine. Don't you ever treat yourself? I treat myself just fine. You know, that eye doctor really likes you, Irene. Trust me, it was obvious. It was? Why not? You're smart, you're funny, you're generous, you're attractive. Oh, come on. Be honest. The first word that comes to mind when you see me is not attractive. What? You you think every woman has to settle for carob and look anorexic? You think men like that? You betcha. If you don't believe me, ask my mother. Yeah, well, you're both wrong. Come on. Tell me, what do you like about art? Well, I like how he's really into helping people see clearly. He's completely comfortable with himself. He accepts life in all its ironies, its richness, its vicissitudes. Not that I know him. Right. I mean, it's not like you've seen the guy's vicissitudes. You want him to ask you out, don't you? Get out of here. Come on, I can help. You know, a as a thank you for all you've done, I can be like your coach. Oh, my coach. Yeah. 
And uh, what's the longest relationship you've ever had? I don't know, two, maybe three. Years? Weeks. I rest my case. It just so happens I know a thing or two about women and men and their complex psychological subtleties. You know, little things like, I don't know, the way you wear your hair or, you know, doing a little something with makeup. What do you say? Good God. What? I married my mother. Office. No, no, come on in. Oh no, no, no! You probably have to get home to your to your wife and kids. Oh well, I'm not. I, I don't. I'd be happy to make that adjustment for you. Um. Well, you know, actually, I I think I've figured out a solution to this whole frame situation. Contact lenses. What do you think? Well, you you do contacts, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Because I'm having trouble making up my mind, and um. How do you think they'd look? On me. I think they'd be very becoming. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, then, um, I'll call you for an appointment. Bye. Bye. Yeah. What is this? Ice cream. I know it's ice cream, McGuire. I am an adult. But you don't have to hide it from me. I do have some willpower. I wasn't hiding it from you. I was hiding it for you. Huh? Yeah, I just figured one of these days you might like a little... Stop. Do not sabotage me, McGuire. It isn't sabotage. Oh. And do you have to hang this here? Well, I'm sorry. Is it too much to ask for you to put it in the closet? Oh, oh. And would you pick up your chips? You know, everywhere you go, there's like another one right by your foot. I'm not supposed to bend. You can't lift a tortilla chip? Fine. Call me here. Um, yeah, well, that, that's fine. Mind if I come in? I thought yeah. you said Wednesday. Did I? Yeah, as a matter of fact, you did. Quiet. Shh. Sorry, Art, what were you saying? Listen, Miss Wood, I don't appreciate your suggesting that my wife and I are anything but. <gasps> Look, Mr. McGuire, I just have a job to do. Saturday night? Oh, um, uh, no, I don't have any plans. Oh, I love driving up the lake. Yes, okay. Okay, we are, I'll admit, right, having some uh, tiny adjustment mm -hmm. problems, but we are working on them, and honest to God, we are making progress. Hello, Ms. Wood. Honey. There, see? So, uh, when did you first know? Know what? That he's the one. Oh, um, I'm not really sure. You know, it wasn't like a big aha or anything. It was just, uh, you know, just kind of grew on us. What about kids? 
about them. Well, how many are you going to have? Oh, Mom. You know, I always sort of figured that if I ever finally did get married, it'd stop hassling me. Since when is it hassling for a mother to ask her daughter about her husband and her future plans? Well, as a matter of fact, we have no desire or plans to have kids, okay? I don't believe you. You love kids. You mean he has no desire to have kids. And he's writing a novel, for heaven's sakes. I don't know, honey. There's something about this marriage. I worry about you. Mom, what are you coming down on him for? I'm not. I'm just trying to figure him out. What for? I mean, she's got her guy. She's happy. Look at her glow. You do it, you do it. Okay, you're all right. Okay. It's gonna be fun. Just stand up straight, right. smile, okay. and be fascinated by what he says. Okay, if you laugh a lot, you have to go away. Well, I'll go. I'll be in here. I'll be in here. Hi. Hi. You look really nice. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad you're ready. I've really been looking forward to this. Me too. Uh, I'm just gonna get my coat. So are you going to tell me how your date last night went? It was fine. And? Hey, Metro. No, no, no. How come you always get Metro? Because it's my paper, and you always start with sports. Oh, never mind. Here. So? So what? So your date was fine, and? And he's very nice. Did you kiss him? Oh, man. I'm just asking, did he, you know, when you got to the door? I can't believe that I am being coached by a closet teenager with raging hormones. Hey, I'm just pointing out something about pacing. If you let things lag and spend too much time, you know, talking to each other, you end up as friends, which is the worst. No sparks, no chemistry. Really? Absolutely. Totally irrevocable. Do me a favor. When we're in there, just act like a husband. My mother's suspicious. Yes, dear. Well, you look at this. Eva, you were really cute. Eva, you deal with them. Excuse me. Oh, no. Not a naked baby picture. Good God, Spike. You had that smarty pants look even then. <laughs> you precious mm. you. <laughs> so, Tom, how's your novel coming? Oh, it's it's coming along pretty well, wouldn't you say so, Honey Bun? Uh, uh, oh, yes, it's terrific. Mm -hmm. a, a real page turner. Must be nice to have the time, not to have to worry about your income. <laughs> nice time for you to get married. Mother. Well, I consider that a tribute to you, Mrs. Dunbar. Or mom, rather. May I call you mom? For raising such a wonderful woman. Mm. Mm. Now tell me, Tom, mm. when did you first know that you loved my daughter? Well, Mom, uh, let's see. You know, <laughs> frankly, it, it hit us like a ton of bricks. Remember, Irene? One day, funny story. I just looked at her, she just looked at me, and we just knew. You just knew. Hmm. Ton of bricks. Uh, 
Uh, Mom, I think your roast is burning. Mm. I think it is, too. I'll check it. <clears throat> We're getting pretty good at this, don't you think? Don't you ever ask me to lie for you again about your novel or anything else. Fudge with that? Shh. Don't press your luck, McGuire. I am loving this ice cream, but I don't do fudge. Now, shh. That's it? Okay, tell me everything you thought and be completely honest because you're the only person I can trust. Well, it's very sexy. I know. I know. We can skip over that stuff unless it's a problem. Oh, no, no, no. It is just, um, what? You don't like it. I didn't say that. You don't have to. What's wrong with it? Well, it's just Russell and Helen. Mm. I mean, I know that conflict is good. But in this case, they just seem so mismatched. You know, she's uptight, he's irresponsible. He's a slob, she's compulsive. What do they see in each other? Well, that's the whole thing, isn't it? They seem so wrong, but underneath, you know. No, no, that's just it. There doesn't seem to be anything underneath. So that when his feelings finally do change for her, who knows why? It's supposed to be unspoken. That's cheating. You're looking for the easy way. This character has thoughts and emotions. If you want people to feel something, you have to let them in. Just like real life. I tried, Irene. I wrote those parts. They never came out right. So, try to remember what it feels like to be really close to someone. Really intimate. That is it. Ivan hates the roller coaster story. He wants you to stay and rework it. Not tonight. He's the one who made me fire McGuire. He can rework it. You won't? That's right, Amy. I have a life, you know. Yeah, I know. But I wasn't sure you did. Way to go. So Amy says that Shea Danielle is famous for big plates, small portions, and heavy on presentation. McGuire. McGuire, what are you doing in the closet? I don't know, this whole wardrobe of yours. Is that what you're going to wear? Well, yeah. What's wrong with this? Hey, what is the task for this evening? I don't know. What is the task for this evening? Get kissed. Isn't that what you want? Well, this whole outfit is just designed to cover oh, it. what do you know about what this outfit is designed for? I've been looking at women, or my groupies, as you call them, a lot longer than you have. Let me take a look. It's so buttony. Well, it's a business suit. You're supposed to wear a jacket, and then... Hang on, this is good. McGuire! No, no, no. Stop it! No, no, what no, are you fine. doing? Just Stop wait a second. It. Here, see? Irene, come on. we got to give this guy art a jump start. You know what might help? You think maybe you could make him jealous somehow, get his testosterone pumping? Come on, it's the attitude, Irene. Here, this is good. Now, now just stand up straight, shoulders back. All right. Yeah, and don't be afraid to, you know, sell it. Yeah, that's it. Ooh, good. Very nice. Oh. Oh, that ice cream went directly to my hips. You enjoyed it, didn't you? Of course I enjoyed it. I loved it. I just don't love it now. Now I feel guilty. You're too sensitive. You're not that big. How big is not that big? Do you know that never once in my whole adult life have I ever bought a bathing suit? That's big. Big enough to feel really bad. Then I'm sorry. Really. 
Oh, don't be sorry. I got your message, and it was very sweet. It, you know, whether I die it or not, it just doesn't work for me. Jackets work. You take a good look. This is the only body you've got, and I think you look spectacular. The one with the curls is Tracy. She's 11, and the younger one is Meg. Oh, they are gorgeous, both of them. Yeah, they are. Do uh, you have any more pictures in here? No, that's it. Oh, wow. Is this the photo that goes with the wallet? That's, uh, I can't believe that's still in there. Oh, oh, your wife. She's lovely. Ex-wife. I, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. It's over. She's remarried, as a matter of fact, to the kid's orthodontist, as it turns out. Let me have it, and I'll rip it up. Oh, no, no, you don't have to do that. Irene? What are you doing here? Who's he? Who's he? Her husband? You're married? Well, I... Uh... God, Irene, don't do this to me. Maguire? Must be heaven, huh, pal? Tell me something. Has she cooked for you, too? Have you tasted her Chilean sea bass or her, God help me, Zuba de Peche? Maguire? It seems a bit coincidental, fella, you're being at this restaurant. Excuse me, I'm not stalking the woman, if that's what you're implying. Wait, no, if I could show you Sorry, you excuse me. It's fine. Lady and I are friends, aren't we, Irene? At least give me that much. Mm. Oh, doesn't she smell so good? I'm sorry, it's just that I can't bear the thought of those arms around another man. Those fingers, those beautiful, luscious lips. Hey, come on now. Sir, I'm, I'm going to have to ask okay. you to leave. It's okay, I don't want to make a scene. If you're man enough to harness her. Oh, come on. It's okay. story. Lawyers. Oh. You know, I thought you handled it really well. Oh, well, it was kind of pathetic, if you don't mind my saying. But you know, you, you just had such restraint. Really. Oh. Well, I mean, I don't always have such restraint. Evidently, I gather you either. coffee or something? Oh, no, no, not with, you know, uh, your husband. Oh, yeah, right. My husband. Uh. Huh. What kept you? Phone rang. Ah. Uh. 
Now what? Hang on. or something? Are you ready now? Yeah, I'll be right in there. Just uh, keep lathering. Hold these. How about uh, Monday night? Monday's good. Close call. And thanks a lot for the restaurant. Now he thinks I'm married. Well, you are married. Oh, you know, your sense of humor. You want to know what I think? I am beginning to think that you are some kind of weirdo. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's why you showed up at Shea Danielle. You like to watch? Hey, hey, whoa. You did get kissed, did you not? Uh, excuse me? And was that kiss not in some small part due to my intervention? You are a peeping Tom. Geez, you were right under a streetlight for crying all night. Well, and I don't know, some kind of cross-dresser or something. You lonely tonight, McGuire? Forget it, Irene, all right? Just forget the whole thing. Finally. Mm. Oh, hi. You must be Irene. I'm Hannah. Love your place. Well, at least I hope you follow the manual. What's wrong? Uh, nothing, really. I, I just wanted to get out of my apartment, that's all. What? Uh, well, everything's fine, really. Um, fabulous, in fact. Yeah, I just, um, I was wondering, um, could I stay here tonight? So, like I said, it wasn't exactly a fraud, and it was my fault. And, and he's there now, with her, at your apartment. I'm so sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. I can't help it. I like McGuire. You know, I didn't mean to mislead you. Or Mom. Though I thought I might get some mileage out of her for finally getting married. <laughs> but she thinks McGuire is a freeloader. And that is just not true. You know, he's broke because he cares about people. And he doesn't have any insurance because he's generous and he's thoughtful. And he's writing a novel because he is talented. And that's what he should do. Wait, I'm confused. So you, so you do like him? No. Well, yes, but, but no. You know, in fact, I'm dating somebody else. The appropriate one? Well, he is. Much more than McGuire. Answer me something straight. Okay. Am I sexy? I don't know, Irene. I never thought about you that way. You're my sister. That's what I thought.
my God, don't tell me. Evidently, she came by your apartment, according to her, to make amends and saw a young lady leaving. Just what I need right now. Oh, I, I gotta go. Yeah, me too. Um, I'll just call you later. Irene, your mother's on too. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. How are things? Okay, fine. Do you have a minute? Uh, no, not really. Irene, I must talk to you. Mom, this really isn't a good time. What about lunch? Oh, I'd love to. It's just that, uh, you know, I'm swamped. Irene. Mom, I promise that I will call you the minute I get a break, okay? What about dinner? Yes, good, okay. Is every day a calamity for you? Mostly pretty calm. A concept. You know, Amy, I hate this story. Everybody likes to know where the best singles clubs are. Yeah, but you know, when you have a story that's as good as McGuire's Judge, I just... We still have that, don't we? Yeah. You're not... who you are. No. No, I'm just thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Everything looks normal here. Your right cornea looks good. Listen, I've got something here I'd like you to take a look at when the drops wear off. Info on contacts? No, a dude ranch out near the Rockies, which also has swimming, rafting, hot tubs. My treat. I thought... Maybe for a weekend sometime. And you said yes? Why not? Because it was a tactical mistake. Committing to a weekend? I mean, what if when, you know, push comes to shove? Oh, please. OK, call it whatever you want. But what if it's not so hot? Then what do you do for the next couple of days? I don't know. Look well, two moves ahead, Irene. You always got to be thinking two moves ahead. Look, I figured you'd want me to go. I thought this was the next move. Well, you thought wrong. No offense, but maybe there's only so much you can teach me. Since the only way you relate to women, which I do understand, what with your father being the way he was and all, is to treat us like trophies, which we are not. My father? Yeah. You know, sleeping around or leaving your mother or whatever those problems were that you mentioned. My old man. I just always assumed... My father was married to my mother until the day she died. In quiet desperation. Both of them. Except it wasn't always so quiet, and I hated it. Well, I never realized... Anyway, that, that has nothing to do with this. If you want to go ahead and marry this guy, that's your business. I'm just talking tactics. Spending a weekend together, at this stage of the game, you don't want him to see that much of you. It'll scare him. I, I, I don't mean... What I mean is... Uh-huh. And what do you mean? Boy, talk about a heartbreaker for the Bulls. Mm. So you went to the basketball game? Yeah, Hannah got us in with the press. Mm. That Hannah really gets around, doesn't she? She's a friend, Irene, a good friend. Oh, yes, I saw. And that's what friends are for, so to speak. Oh, you forgot your girdle. Doc says I could try going without it. You made dinner. I thought you were going to be busy packing for the big weekend. Mm, I'm not going. What happened? Well, I changed my mind, if you must know. Art and I are going to spend a quiet evening here tomorrow night. Just an evening? Well, you never can tell. But I'm sure you can find some place to spend the night. Oh, and here, this was your dinner. 
Unless you're too full of hot dogs. You know, you don't have to jump right in bed with the guy. Especially if it doesn't feel right. Oh, I know that. Well, good, because I wouldn't want you in any situation you couldn't handle. You wouldn't, huh? What the hell did you do? I don't know. I just put the food in. With the foil on? That's how it was wrapped. Oh, look at this. Would you look at this? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Oh. Didn't you put any water in there? It's supposed to put water? Oh, I swear, McGuire, everywhere you go. Oh, don't start with the oh, everywhere no, no, no. I don't go. Don't you start with telling me it not to start before I even started. It was an accident for Pete's sake. You gave it to me wrapped like that. How am I supposed fault. to know? Now you're a total disaster. Now you're putting words in my mouth. Why did I think that, that, that I could ever leave you alone no, in this kitchen? We sound just like we're married. Well, even if we're not married, you know, you could have left a note. What? About where you were. I mean... Not that, you know, we have any understanding about spending time and having dinner together. It's just that, you know, I make these meals and then, and then when you don't even bother to tell me your plans, I... Irene. What? All cleaned up. I apologize about the mess and about the note that I didn't leave. I'll try not to be so annoying while I'm here. What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. You? No, I meant in the mirror. Oh, nothing. You went shopping today. Would you get out of here? Show me what you got. I thought you said you were going to be less annoying. It's bad enough you're having this guy on an overnight so soon. You might want a second, not to mention male opinion. Well. Excuse me, but I think I'd bring a little detachment, a little objectivity. Yeah, maybe. Plus, I happen to be a lingerie aficionado, so give me a look at what you got. You promise to tell the truth? Scout's honor. Because this is no time for courtesy. Understood. Not one of my strong suits anyway. Come on, open up. And if you so much as snicker, I swear Irene, to God... Irene, enough. Get me wrong, you look real good in that pink one, too. Have a root beer, please. Writer's block? Oh, no, I can't go home. I'm supposed to be in Tucson. Huh? Yeah, Irene's having company. A nice, quiet dinner at home for two. Ah. So what do you think about this optometrist guy? Me? Hey, look, I'm thrilled for her. Just, uh, I find it a little ironic that I help her land this fish and then I have to sleep on the street. 
So, do you think tonight's the night? I mean, is she going to... Don't ask. I got no answers. They sure look good. Uh, I'm supposed to call them meringue delights. There's hardly any butter. Mm. Mm. Oh, and you know, I, I also have a view of Lake Michigan. You do? Uh-huh. It's right there. Where? Between those two buildings. Oh. Hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. Oh, look, don't worry. He's in Tucson. What I don't understand, Irene, is why your marriage didn't work out. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Other women, maybe. Oh, but that's not the whole truth. Just kind of an accumulation of things. Like, uh, you know, he's a slob. Everywhere I step, there's either a sock or a tortilla chip. A and I even have to buy sugar pops. And that's why you're divorcing him? Well, no. It, it's more that, you know, you never know what's what with him. Well, no, actually, you do. Yeah, he is who he is, and he, he makes no apologies for it. I have to give him that. Though, sometimes he does apologize. But does he ever learn his lesson? I mean, you know, about cleaning, or, well, not cleaning, but plenty of other things. You know, you know how some relationships, when, when you start, if you talk too much, you just become friends? I've had those. Yeah, well, that's, that's how McGuire and I are. We are very good friends. But we've never really been lovers. Gee, from what he said at the restaurant. Oh, well, whoever that is, it better be good. I know. It's not Wednesday. This is ridiculous. This is harassment. Oh, look, it's an insurance thing, and it's absurd. Hmm. And uh, your gentleman friend is? This is not my gentleman friend. This is my... My cousin. And you always dressed like this for dinner with your cousin? Well, he came all the way from uh, Scranton. Scranton. Let's see. Your name, sir? Uh, uh, Ms. Wood, uh, just don't write down that part about, you know, my cousin from Scranton. What are you doing? I mean, I mean, hi. What are you doing here? Can you believe it? We got all the way to Tucson. What, what's she doing here? I'm surprised you're not asking what's he doing here. Who, him? Oh, who cares about him? I'm going to bed. Are you satisfied now? You know, it's really nice to see you again, but I'd like it if you would just give me a little advance notice. Hi! Steve and I aren't away from dinner, and I stopped by because when I was here yesterday, I think I may have left my umbrella. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, Patty, could yeah. you just get what you came for and, you know, out the door, please? And, uh, you too. And, uh, oh, not you. I I'll be right back. Um, I was here yesterday, and I... I, I must have left the What night. are you doing here? Under the circumstances, it's a good thing I came back. You know, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. I must have left it. No, but what are you doing here? I forgot my wallet. No, you didn't. I saw you put it in your pocket. Okay, I don't know. I just... Didn't feel like staying out so late. Ah, here it is. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> I think it might be mine. Why are you doing this to me? Doing what? It's like you are purposely trying to destroy my relationship. What are you talking about? I've been nothing but helpful to you. But if you must know, I don't think this guy's such a good choice after all. Oh, like you know about good choices. Irene, mine must don't be in the closet. Start. Don't you start on this don't start stuff. I want an answer. All I'm trying to say is I think you should be dating lots of guys now. I don't mean a whole bowling team, but just looking around a little bit more. What's so special about this guy? I like this guy. Marital. That doesn't mean he's the only <laughs> you know? choice. Just yeah. tell them I said so, so, so long. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, just tell me, what do you like about him so much? I will never forgive you for this. What? Oh, yeah, okay, good. Just walk away. So, like glaucoma, uh, has there been a cure for that? Um, look, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm sorry, but this just isn't working. Oh, Irene. No, it's a... It's all right. It's just uh... no, no. You know, it, it's not all right. Um, are, you see this? This, this is what she has to deal with. Irene, 
Maybe it'd just be better if I... No, you. hold on, wait, that's not true. You don't know the first thing about what goes on between us. Oh, well, what does go on between you? Uh, uh, look, the point is, I, I, I resent, and damn it, I really do being made the villain here. Oh, you resent? Oh, I... You resent? Then, then why did Please you come wait. back here tonight? You knew he was going to be here. You... Oh, All right, look, I, I, I'm really sorry. It's not your fault. No, I, I wanted tonight to be a, a nice evening and, and really give us a chance. I'm not sure we have a chance, Irene. Oh, no, we do. He's so obviously still in love with you. He is? Maybe you can't see it, but I can. I've been there. I know what he's going through. Oh, no, Art, I, I don't think you do. Oh, no, wait. It, is it over? I can't contribute to that kind of pain or risk feeling it again. I bet that... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's me. Maybe it's my generation. I'm sorry, but I just don't understand. Here I am trying to tell you about your husband's philandering, about my terrible misgivings. And you, you, I always thought you were so innocent. <sighs> Mom. You think you know someone, your own daughter. You would think you'd know. We're not really married. What? It's a mess. It's a big mess. You're not really married to him? Well, you don't have to look happy. Actually, Mr. McGuire, I may call you Mr. McGuire. I really don't know what's going on here, but I have a pretty good idea what you're about, and you have just made my day. My pleasure. Mom, when we leave, which is now, I will explain everything to you. I mean, I just... <sighs> just go. Really, just go. Why'd you come back here tonight? I told you I didn't feel like staying out. You sure? Because I have another idea of what's going on. Maybe you've had second thoughts. Maybe you don't like the idea of me being with Art. Maybe I don't. Maybe I... Yeah, you don't like the idea of losing this sweet setup you got here. You know, if good old Spike actually lands a man. Is that what you think? Yeah, McGuire. That's what I think. I really thought someone finally knew me. <laughs> Listen, will you excuse me? I gotta get up early tomorrow morning. They've offered me a job at the examiner. I've decided to take it. Plus, I'm meeting with an attorney. A divorce lawyer? No. Criminal lawyer. Specializes in fraud. Yeah, well, I, I guess under the circumstances, that would be more... Appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. Good night. say I told you so, don't. I'm not going to do that. I saw through him, that's all. I wanted to protect you. Well, you weren't exactly wrong. I, technically, he was using me, but not how you think. 
McGuire's not like that. It was all my idea, and he just went along with it. Yes, so Patty said. But you know, Mom, what really hurts me is why you think no one like McGuire could love me. Oh, sweetheart. That's not it. I love you and Patty more than anything else in the world. I know your gifts. You're talented, smart, loving. Then why do you think no one else will love me just because of how I look? Because it's a superficial world. People don't see past your weight. If you don't play the game, something like this will happen. Or you'll be alone. I've been alone ever since your father died. I know what it's like. It's not what I wanted for you. Oh, Mom. Mom, somebody will love me. Just the way I am. Or not. This is the only body I have. You know, and maybe, just maybe, I'm spectacular. Irene, I just want you to be happy. I know. I know, me too. I, I just got to be on my terms. Okay. Irene, look out. Ivan's on a rampage. Damn. McGuire's story? Yeah. Irene! If you need me, just holler. Irene, you didn't think I'd print this. Well, I hoped you would. Well, you were wrong. It's the right thing to do, Ivan. No one else has that story. A powerful judge is corrupt, and it needs to be printed. This magazine is not supposed to be your own personal journal. It belongs to the people of Chicago, and so does McGuire's story. Are you making a stand, Miss Dunbar? Yeah, I guess I am. And these are my terms. You print it, bring McGuire back, or I quit. Well. Nice knowing you.
You know, you got some serious problems with workaholism. What? So, what are we going to do about a photographer for the cover? Am I dreaming? Didn't you get the message? It was on the machine, though. I already heard about it. Heard about what? What you did. Ivan gave up. He wants us both back. My story's next month's cover. Oh. But I, I can't. I just can't go back to how it was. You know, you and me, and it, it just doesn't work anymore. Yeah, I know. I, I want to finish my book anyway, and you can do so much better than Ivan and Round the Loop. Oh, you think? Oh, yeah, I do. Hmm. But before you say anything else, do me a favor. Take a look at this. The novel? It's just the last chapter. Are you going to watch me read? Well, yeah. Oh. oh, this is good, McGuire. Right from the get-go. I know. Did you get to the part where he tells that he's been afraid his whole life to make a commitment? How could I get that far? I just started. Where he defines the thing with his parents and how it informs all his relationships with women, but at the core is still just fear. Guire, I... Did you get to the part where he tells her she's the most wonderful woman he's ever known? That he's never trusted anyone the way he trusts her. And that he loves her more than anything in his whole arrogant, irresponsible life. Oh, no. I didn't get that far. What does she say? I only know what I want her to say. I think she loves him, too. And I think she did from the first time he ever walked into her office. Six years? Seven. So what does she do about it? So on this joyous occasion, when friends and family have gathered to share this happiness, we are truly blessed. And now the godmother can return the baby to mom and dad. <laughs> OK, can we quick get a shot with you two and the baby? And how about, let's have grandma on this side. This is Dunbar, thank you. Okay. Uh, sis and her family. Okay, where's our godmother? Oh. Okay. Someone could fix a little guy's tie. Okay. Mom, can we see the baby a little better? Great. Everyone just a little bit closer. Okay, and smile. Great. 